Yeah, hello, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the SU-100. It's a Russian Tier 6 tank destroyer. The map is Erlenberg, and this is an assault map. I'm on the assaulting team. I'm also doing a mission which is to cause 4,000 hit points of damage. Um, the last game I had was on Redshire. I got four kills, and I only did 2,000 hit points of damage. So it goes to show you how difficult it is. I am hoping to uh, upgrade to the tank that follows this one, which is the SU-152, which has a, a gun that will do 700 damage per shot, which I'm hoping will solve that problem. But for now, I'm doing this. One thing you need to know about this map is that you don't want to stay too far back, because if you stay too far back, when they spot enemy tanks, you won't be able to hit them. They'll be beyond your, your range. Which is something that I learned. I was sitting back here and we had spotted enemy tanks and I couldn't fire at them. They were too far away. Target acquired. Target lost. Ready to fire. I don't see the target. So basically what I did differently this time is I used the tree as cover. And as you can see, we have no spotter. Well, maybe the Type 59 will do it. Yeah, just knock down the tree. We don't need it. The best I can do right now is just keep on moving. Very difficult. So we are killing tanks, I'm going to advance, even though I know that it's very dangerous up ahead. Yeah, we can't just sit here all day. have to advance we have no choice We're dead for it. everyone get out yeah the enemy will win this I wish I were a better player I wish I could show you how to play with that particular tank but I'm not very good at it and I'm going to have to learn the techniques This one I have no problem with because it's got the turret on it, and my playing style is compatible with having a turret. Now for this map, which is uh, Westfield, if you, you don't want to go over to the top of these hills. That's death sentence. You want to go around in the valley area and uh, in the lower points of the hills. And it's a strategy that I learned 
a year and a half ago, and a lot of people do it now, but a year and a half ago, I was one of the only ones that did it. People have learned a lot in the past year and a half. Uh, the players are way better than they used to be. So what that E25 is doing isn't that bad because of his type of tank. But he still has to be careful. If you're up at the top, you want to have targets that are far away. It's not going to work for close targets. And the reason why you don't want to go over is because you won't have the gun depression. And uh, you won't be able, the tanks will be able to shoot at you, but you won't be able to hit them back. Go for the furthest tank. I'm going to keep hitting that tank over and over again, as long as he's in view. I wasted my shot. Yeah, it's going to be difficult over here because of all the bumpiness of the uh, of the ground. The gun's just going to jump up and down. I probably should have gotten behind those dead tanks or something. And I got hit by a tank that's hiding back there. Look at all those tanks. Oh, I got hit by the uh, artillery. That's too bad. Yeah, good game. Too bad you lost. Okay, let's hopefully get back into an SU-100. It's not doing so well. He's got to do. He's got to do better. Got to do better. You'll note that I have the Yag Tiger, the 8.8 .8, uh, Tier 8 Premium Tank Destroyer. And I'm really considering selling it. Uh, I don't play it very often. I don't particularly enjoy playing it. I love the E25 more, and I'd rather play the E25. So I'm probably going to play, you know, my final games with the Ag Tiger and sell it. And uh, sell some of my other premium tanks, like the Matilda 4, uh, which was great when I bought it, but uh, I just don't justify playing it anymore. Let's go. I'm going to try the west side today. See if I have better luck. You'll notice that this guy is in the center of the road, which is you know, bad. You know, why should he hog the road? There's room for two people.
Okay, so I'm gonna go to the sniping hill over there. And see what happens. Hope for the best. You'll note that this is an encounter map, and one of the key ways to win these games is go to the encounter base immediately and cap immediately. Don't listen to people who say not to do it. They're, they're idiots. You know, when you do it and you force the enemy to play um, in a rush, it's a great strategy. I had a lot of fun games playing like that. Yeah, I don't know how to play this tank. I just can't do it. Let's see how I did with this. Gathering information. 1,200 damage. 5 penetrations. Okay, E25. Now, this tank... My best game, I got five kills in 60 seconds. And it was awesome. Everybody saw me do it. People congratulated me. Um, it's got a really great gun on it. However, it it is a low penetration gun, I seem to recall. And uh, the tank explodes easily. I get killed easily in this tank. <coughs> So I do have fun playing it, but uh, it's not like a miracle tank, but it is fun to play. It's one of the most fun tanks in the game. It's like playing an ELC with a good gun. It's a game you can cause havoc with. Okay, I'm going to head south. We'll see if we can invade their base, sneak up behind them. So you're pretty safe once you get, until you get through these bushes over here, and then you're out in the open. Ready to fire. Finally got a shot in. All that ruined my plans. Enemy armor is hit. Enemy armor is damaged. So the Cromwell went under the bridge which is where I was planning on going.
We've got a lot of tanks raiding their base. I hope this tiger doesn't shoot me. Try and hunt down some no some more t targets, even though I know it's going to be uh, difficult. I'm probably going to cap before I see anything. Yeah. Well, we raided their base and we capped them. Okay, let's get into another SU-100. He's up to 24, so he needs 7,000 more experience before I can get that next tank. Or I could put a little gold down and get it now. So this time I'm going to try one of the sniping positions. And uh, I haven't had a chance to do this in such a long time, so I'm excited about it. <coughs> There's basically three. There's one that I think is way in the back, and then there's going to be one that's a little closer, and a second one that's closer. <coughs> and hopefully I will damage tanks. Let's go. Okay, so first I'm going to sit over here. And obviously it's going to be very difficult. If they don't come over the top, I won't be able to shoot at anybody. I don't think they're going to come over. So I'm going to take a different position. Keep shooting where I think he is. Ready to fire. Penetration. Not good enough. Let's find another target.
Okay, so, so there's still three tanks up on that island over there. I'm going to move to see if I can spot them. like four tanks. Enemy armor is destroyed. Move to avoid the artillery. I'm sure those tanks are still there. Need to be spotted. It'd be very dangerous for me to cross over like this. Yeah, I screwed that up. Should have aimed manually. Probably could have gotten a second shot in. <coughs> okay, so I guess I'll play the Gag Tiger. I'm going to send my crew to the barracks. The SU-100 had a better game. Let's see how he did. Very slow today. Number three on the team. 1800 damage. Almost 25,000. Get into another game. Sacred Valley. So obviously I just played this map a few games ago with the E25 where we rush the enemy base and we cap them. I am going to... Um, I'm going to head for probably this area right here. Let's go. Just to um, see what it's like. I'm going to sit right over here. And I know it's not a great spot. But uh, I really don't have a better plan right now. I want to hit those tanks as they come up the other side. There's a spot which I believe might be right there where there's no cover and they have to expose themselves as they cross it. Ready to fire. Of course I can't hit him. Let's find another target. Like I said, they can't cross that area without being spotted. Assuming I am within range, of course. Well, looks like somebody did. Easily 
just knock that building down. Target acquired. Enemy armor is damaged. I don't see the target. They do have one artillery unit, which we got to be careful for. Let's find another target. Ready to fire. Penetration. Okay, so I'm going to focus on this guy that's in the lower area. Yeah, we're done for. Everybody get out. And I said everybody. G1R... Super stealth mode. Okay. So I think that guy, Shroom Lee, uh, he killed our artillery, but he also crashed himself to death. Well, I probably only got a couple hundred. 532, that's pretty good for a defeat. Twenty five hundred. Means I only need six thousand left, which is gonna be around six games for him to upgrade. It's amazing the work you have to go through to complete the mission. And uh it is kind of important. It's for Operation Stug four, and the reason why is because obviously there's four campaigns and uh, you're going to need those tanks to complete the other campaigns also. It's not just for for this one. Uh, I don't know how long the operation is going to last. It started in January. It's already May. And I just started um, a couple of weeks ago, perhaps two weeks ago, so I'm really behind. And I don't even want this Stug 4. I don't even know why I'm playing for it. So we've got a player that is predicting that the enemy will rush the cap. How could he know something like that? There's no way for him to know that. So I'm going to start by um, taking up a position where hopefully I can snipe into this no man's land. <coughs> and uh, if the action moves somewhere else, I'm going to move somewhere else. The key to getting lots of kills is to chase tanks around. You'll notice in the videos where people get 10 kills, they had to hustle. They had to drive all over the map to find enemy tanks to kill. And uh, to do damage, you probably have to do the same thing. You have to hustle. If I see a target, I'm going to chase after him. You'll note that our team is doing a lousy job here. Um, 
they're probably robots sitting back there at the base. That's a sign of a robot. Robots tend to sit back at the base and not do anything. But they'll aim at tanks, they'll aim at enemy tanks and shoot them, but otherwise sit at base. Okay, there's our first tank, so... I'm gonna go find them. You never know what will happen. I've seen games where the entire enemy team went to the cap. I've seen games where none of, one, none of the enemy team went to the cap. Um, if you've heard this story from me before, I played a game where... It was Karalia. We all went north on the east and never encountered the enemy, and <laughs> we capped the enemy, never saw any of them, and our whole entire team capped the enemy. So games like that can happen, <clears throat> even though it's rare. Unfortunately, I missed. That Hellcat's got a lot of guys following after him. Ready to fire. Penetration. Come on, buddy. Stay in I sight. Don't see the target. Okay, so they're all going to be on the other side of the hill. So I'm going to try to go around the corner, take shots at them. Looks like it's going to be very difficult. Permission to engage. Our driver. We're covering his position, but not very well. They only have a few tanks left in the game. And I'm going very slow. So it's going to be a hunt to find their artillery. And that last tank. Probably suiciding. There he is. Artillery suicides all the time. Well, it is an FV 304, he could be anywhere. Okay, there's the SU-100.
Didn't do so well. Had one hit. I'm going to take a break. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.